Good evening, Snapchat. It's your boy Rona Williams from the Outlet Podcast, the greatest and the latest, the boldest and the coldest, aka Black with No Features, aka Like, Share, and Subscribe to the Ill Slide. All right, so currently I am sitting up here at Walmart. My mom has to go back up to Walmart and basically rechange my fucking Walmart to Walmart, add my junior on the motherfucker because my parents decided to name me after my daddy who ain't shit, but that's beside the point. So I figured I'd sit here and have some free time. I'm way up in goddamn Michigan. I couldn't go home and get the goddamn check it even if I wanted to. But I digress. And being out this far from home has me thinking about old shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's good to keep some females around, you know what I'm saying, in case you got to go back home. Now, me personally, I'm not a fan of being around the house. I don't give a fuck about being home. I used to really feel a way about that, being home and, you know, being around my family. But the older I've gotten, the more I can give a fuck less about it. But it's always good to keep some females on deck in case you have to go across that, you know, go back to that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Wherever your home may be. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's trying to elevate and do some new shit. But... Don't get so far out of on your new shit that you forget the old shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing wrong with keeping some old smashes around. Some old dips on deck or some old duck off. Some old, you know, they ain't the baddest bitches. They ain't cute. They still on the same old shit they been on. They still ain't shit since high school. God damn it. I don't want to turn my airplane mode on. Because this one motherfucker won't quit commenting on my shit. But... What I'm saying is it's good to keep some motherfucking hoes around. Some old hoes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they still ain't shit. Yeah, a lot of them still claiming government assistance. Yeah, they still dating trap niggas. That's not your problem. Back home pussy is some of the most reliable pussy that you'll ever have in your life. You know what I'm saying? I understand, you know, you moving out here and shaking out here in the world. You might be traveling to wherever the fuck you're going, meeting some new shit, seeing some new shit. But it's going to come a time where you got to bring your ass back to the house. And ain't nobody trying to come back to the house to try to chase some new shit. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I don't even really privately talk to girls in my state like that. Because to be honest with you, you bitches is on some stupid shit. But I ain't going to sit here and stunt like I don't have a few dips on deck my damn self. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not laying them motherfuckers off. Because eventually, no matter how much work I do on the road, eventually I'm going to have to bring my black ass back to the house. And the last thing I feel like doing... It's going out to one of these little hole-in-the-wall clubs, meet one of these ain't-shit-ass bitches, you know what I'm saying? I got to get to know this motherfucker all over again. When I already can keep a good relationship with a chick that's already been solid and shit, you know what I'm saying? That hasn't been tried and tested and proven, you know what I'm saying? That she going to kick it with a nigga for the long term, but not try to get a goddamn relationship about me and shit, you know what I'm saying? Because I can't make no money like that. But to be real, it is always good to have some back-home pussy. It is always good to keep you know, some long-term reliable shit around. Do not cut them hoes off. Listen, think of it like this. <laughs> Look at women like a house. And I feel like I've used, seen this analogy somewhere, but I'm going to use it anyway. The new girls is the roof, all right? Some of the girls, you, you know, the, the lesser recent girls is like the rest of the floors in the house. And you got your back home pussy. Your back home pussy is basically your foundation that you build your pussy off of. The way you keep from being so damn thirsty out on the road or thirsty in general is to already have some females on deck in the first place. It is hard for you to get pussy if you ain't already got no pussy. I know that sounds like some crazy ass shit, but what I'm saying is females got to smell other females on you. And I am a true believer of that. You know what I'm saying? It is hard for you to get some pussy out of a new female if you sitting out this bitch looking thirsty. And the only way you going to do that shit is if you keep some hoes on your goddamn team from the past. Or associates or secretaries or whatever you may call them. Me personally, I don't deal with girls any kind of way. So, you know, the girls I kick it with tend to be the girls I stick with for the long term. But what I'm saying in a nutshell, never cut off your back home hoes unless they make you do it. All right. But I ain't really have a whole lot to say on that. This is just something I had on my mind while I'm sitting here in this fucking parking lot. Like, share, subscribe to this a lot.